13th, Saturday, and I'm off to my second gym session of the day because I went earlier this morning for some light cardio and leg day, so I didn't want to kill myself before I actually lifted that. I did some squats on the squat rack, and I did four sets of about six to eight reps, depending on the different weights, and then I also did the leg press, goblet squats, and I did kind of like a kickback thing because it would like weighted things on a pulley, and it works really great because it really kind of targets your lower glute area and your quads on the other leg. And so now I'm headed off to do about 40 minutes of cardio on the stair climber. And then I'm also going to do a few, like 10 minutes of sprints. So that should be about 40 minutes of cardio to finish off the day. And when I get back, I'm going to make a nice little protein shake because it's good for you and it's healthy. And I'm all about that. And so I hope you guys enjoy. So here my sister is trying to assist with pull-ups, how she doesn't know how the machine works. She probably put up like 90 pounds of what she weighs. <laughs> guys so I just got back from the store and I'm just gonna show you guys a few of like the things that I buy kind of like day in day out type of stuff that I use um so yeah let me put this down so you guys can see it better so the first thing I bought is dark chocolate almond milk it's great for like smoothies and protein shakes that I use I also bought these low carb um kind of like tortillas. There's some dried tomato basil, but there's only two car two fat, 12 carb, and 5 protein in them for one wrap, so really great macros. I got some seltzer water. And I also got these two um, smoothie things. One is kale and apple, and the other one is chocolate banana. It just adds like a little more taste to the smoothies, and it's only like 40 calories per packet. I also got coffee creamer because you guys know how much I love coffee. And this is sugar and fat free caramel ma or marshmallow. It's that bag. And then in this one, I got some Greek 100 calorie whips yogurt. I got three of those. I got some sugar free, calorie free water, calorie sugar free monster. And I got some natural apple wood smoked turkey breast. It's one fat, one carb, and 10 protein for two ounces. And there's four servings per container. So I'm going to try these out. I've never had these before, actually. I got my typical egg whites because those are just easy. And I got pineapple chunks because I absolutely love pineapple so yeah that was kind of like my small grocery haul and i'm gonna make a smoothie protein smoothie right now that i will show you guys in a little bit all right guys so like i promised i'm about to make my protein smoothie and i'm gonna show you kind of briefly what i put in it um i already have ice in the um blender because that's kind of gonna give it like that thick creamy texture and i am going to use a scoop of this gold standard 100% whey protein. It's the ultimate nutrition one. So I'm going to take a scoop of this. Just about a scoop. I'm going to throw it in the blender. I'm also going to use half a banana. 
you can't see my face. Um, so I'm just gonna break this in half, half a banana, pretty simple. I'm going to use this organic triple berry blend and about probably like, a, like I'd say like a fourth a cup or so. There's not like much in there, but it has like blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, so it's like very vitamin nutrient dense. And like I showed you, I'm gonna throw in this kale and apple mix. Um, I'm only gonna use like half the packet because it's just like one serving for me, so I don't want to overdo it. Plus, I don't know how good it'll taste in my chocolate protein smoothie. There, so that was about half. And now we're just gonna throw in some dark chocolate almond milk. So this is kind of what it looks like. Everything's in there. I'm gonna blend it and I'll show you the end result. All right, so I blended that for about three minutes because I love when it gets like super creamy and like the texture's good. So here it is. I poured a glass and I'm gonna taste it. Oh wow, you don't even taste the kale um, mix that I kind of threw in that you don't even taste the kale because the almond milk and like the berries and stuff kind of overpower that taste but you're still getting all the nutrients so this is a great post-workout shake plenty of protein and probably like about 20 grams of protein um, very low fat obviously because there's not much going in there and good carb just to kind of keep you full for the day it's about six o'clock now so i'm gonna end this vlog guys and i hope you like this video and subscribe bye